great way to start. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking appropriate. Hi, yes. everybody. <laughs> I have impeccable timing. Always. <laughs> but do you have impeccable taste? Oh. We shall find out. <laughs> you know, I this time on, on Humble Wood Z. Time. You, just you know, I have all this time. Yeah. Uh, I actually haven't written any X's for Gerald. Probably doesn't. He probably doesn't have exquisite taste in Dune Partners. All I don't right. think he avoided th having them for so long. Yes. For those who are at home, hello, welcome oh. to our insane chaos as per usual. I am your DM host, Sarah, here with all of my friends, or at least some of them, because not everyone can join us tonight. We are still waiting on one more who is stuck in traffic. He will be here soon. And then we've got some other people and life just gets in the way. And that's okay. So we are down a Madness to Alice and we are down a turn to page 394. But that's okay. We will catch them next time. Uh, does anyone have any announcements? Yes. Yes. Uh, if you like superheroes and superhero stories and also enemies to lovers stories, um, and if you like Marvel and DC and all that kinds of stuff, please, please go to archiveofourown.org. That is where I upload my story called Firebite. Um, she was my, you can get this, fifth grade superhero that I have adapted um, to the modern age. Uh, because, you know, when you're a fifth grader, you come up with the most ridiculous things for your characters. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, please go check it out. Um, you can find me uh, at alphahanna5311 on Instagram and TikTok. There in uh, my bios, and both of them, uh, is linked my story. Uh, so please go read it. I have 17 chapters up right now. Nice. So, Please go read it. I'm very proud of it. I've been working very hard on it. Very, very nice. Anyone else have any announcements? Nate, do you have an announcement about Naraya? <laughs> Hello. Did you have a announcement about Naraya? Yes, Naraya is ready. Um, I have the, I'm making a bless you, and it's to the player's pamphlet says handbook, going over various things. Mainly a lot of the thing is, if you want to join the campaign, you let me know, we work out a character for you to do, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I'll help fill in more details. I've got basic descriptions of where people can go, where they can live, and what kind of, basic societies they have and you kind of like here's random village okay here's some village um they'll be using the unique quality of D, &D beyond and you have a uh here's a custom origins sort of a system where you can sort of either you can go with a basic regular class or a basic um start for um your race like i was supposed to be this or something like that except for tieflings and asmr you're like, okay, you're a tiefling or an ASMR. What were your parents? Because you still hold on to certain physical characteristics of your parents. Let's say my go-to has been an orc. You still have tusks. Either way, either tiefling or ASMR, you still have tusks. Because you are still also an orc. Um, and yeah, that's going to be soon. Also, I, uh, starting this week, I'm going to be streaming. Um, my first, and I'm going to have, I have a very strange first uh, s uh, sort of continuous stream I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be Fable 3! Because <laughs> I double-checked, and it does work on this computer, so I'm going to be doing that um, because I love the hell out of that game. Um, yeah, and they get, they've announced a new one sooner than later! Ooh, yes. They are, yeah, they said, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They announced it sooner than later. They also announced I released the same goddamn trailer a couple years ago, and we had nothing. 
Let me live in my fucking delusions, okay? I'm I'm in those same delusions. I want it too. Hell, I I am aware. I am goddamn aware. I have made my own 5e module for Fable. I have a Fable module. I'm never gonna be. I'm never gonna use because it, the comp the system's a little complicated making your own hero within the constraints of 5e. I just want to walk up Pathfinder. to ra if if you do that ever, even if it's just a one shot, I will at random point in time walk up to a random person in town and start dancing with them. Yes, because I Absolutely. can, and it's fucking fable. Thinking, and what else do you do? I'm thinking Pathfinder <laughs> might be a better system than 5e for it, um, but I also Pathfinder is very complicated. So I'm gonna have to ask my friend to help me with that. But I'm absolutely because I have this whole like separate like basically this little corner of Albion that the basically it's just the main. I think I have it's time period wise it's like during Fable Two, where you have the most of Albion to go to. Um, so yeah, and it's gonna be with the guild still. But it's this in this timeline, the guild is still active and exists. So you actually have it, you are part of the guild and you are going out to do missions. It's going to be like, it's an actual like adventure sort of module instead of just like go out to the world and fuck shit up. It's like, no, <laughs> go here specifically, fuck shit up here. Anything in between is up to you. As long as you I like that plan. <laughs> yes, go kill that giant bug. So yes, those two separate uh, homebrews that I'm working on are technically pretty much available. I had to tweak Fable one a little bit um, because they're is a the problem is there's a limited number of enemies because it's usually just it's like basic hob hob with hat hob with armor like that's basically how that goes hollow men bazillions like and i also have to i have to involve mitch in some way because i need to make sure i'm delivering the dry british humor that is famous in the fable series i gotta make sure i get it right um but yeah other than that, I'm also going to be streaming. The first stream is going to be tomorrow around noon, playing Fable 3. So, uh, twitch.tv slash Bard of the Midwest. Very nice, very nice. Anyone else have any uh, announcements? Nay. <laughs> In that case, does anyone want to run the recap for their inspiration? Uh, uh... <laughs> I already yeah. have inspiration. <laughs> but we can stack you in can, this game. You can stack them in my games. <laughs> I had the I had the recap all built up all today because I I wanted to do this and then go ahead, go said ahead. that it went. Phew! Go ahead. I got go nothing. All that I can really remember is that um, Shonda went straight through the front door to go, oh no, where am I? Uh, and accidentally caused an explosion, setting off a trap. Technically, that was Zinzi. That was Zinzi. <laughs> Zinzi. Yeah, she snuck in after Chonga. Me too. Right. Like, uh -huh. I think it was three, the three of us stepping through, like, we all, we all took one step together with. Uh oh. Yep. And because yep. of the explosion, it sent three of our party members spiraling down to the floor underneath us uh, to where battle ensued. Um, and Rivia did not do a great job because I was rolling horribly that night. <laughs> um, and then we had to pause because it was getting very late. Yes. That's all I remember. <laughs> so. You all left the Alder Heart um, to track down a missing ally uh, who you knew had been taken by basically uh, a bunch of birdfolk who we know to have been raised by Gerald's adoptive father. Um, in a rush to bring him back, you all headed off into the mountains, 
where you attempted a rescue from what looked like an abandoned windmill in the middle of a chasm in the mountains. Uh, and were immediately faced with this trap. Um, you saw your ally that you intend to rescue get stabbed in the chest as you guys run into battle. And now the battle has ended with multiple members of your enemy forces fallen on the ground, a couple of them having flee. Uh, uh, make a pr you all heard a, a kind of a popping sound um, and then nothing from behind the barrels where you saw a couple of them dip behind and dive. You can make perception check if you'd like. I will since I'm right there. I don't think I see anything. I rolled a two plus four, so six. They could be there. You don't know. <laughs> Perception, correct? I'm just going to stand guard over Olden. Uh, 21. 21? You heard that small popping sound and then like a whoosh? And then nothing. So you're led to believe they're probably not there. Uh, you are no longer in combat. I think they're gone. I would like to immediately cast Aura of Vitality. <laughs> Pretty please. All right. Oh, what am I looking? Ooh, uh, I am going to. What, what am I? How am I? And Gerald, you are still in the basement. <laughs> Yes, you and Zinzi's I am. are in the basement. Changa had jumped up and or flown up to the top floor. So it's just yes. the two of you down there. I am going to second level uh, healing word myself. Because <laughs> I don't know what Zinzi's health is at, but I need healing. Seven. Like yeah. Hey, seven. I, rolled a, I rolled a seven to heal myself as well. Um... And then, let's see. Okay. A uh, little bit. I need paper. Yes. Mm. Mm. And pencil. Ah, so. I, I also have a regular potion of healing. I will also drink that. I also have a greater potion of healing, but um, I'm saving that. <laughs> Eight. Eight more points of healing. Good. Alright. Um, Shari, your aura of vitality, what is it you do? Um, basically, every six seconds I pump out 2d6 healing, which I am currently rolling. Um, I put seven into myself. I'm going to dump at least... So... Um, sorry, go ahead. So you put... So it every six sen seconds, it pumps out Right? Uh, so that's I can every you... round. Yes, every round for a minute. Okay. <clears throat> so I get 10 of them. Okay, so you put healing into yourself. Yes. Okay. And then next rounds, um, I'm going to put the next three rounds into Alden. Which Before I you do that, force. roll a perception check. Because you uh, put two rounds into yourself. No, I put one round. Oh, sorry, I heard two. My bad. Sorry, my bad. That makes it a little, um, a little better. <laughs> yeah, one into uh, one into one into showery. The next three into all. Yeah, uh, thirteen. That's my perception. Thirteen. It's close. It's real close. Okay. Uh, so four health, four health, four health. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> stop leaving. Stop leaving. That... Stop. As you start to pump that in to Alden, um, mm -hmm. you watch as he um, begins to move a little bit and his eyes are starting to roll. He's starting to come to. Okay. But looking over him, 
And I'm not gonna make this a second roll because you're standing right there. He got fucked. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> he's cut. He's been uh, attacked. His wings have been clipped and not nicely. Oh, no. He's... It's been a rough couple weeks for him. Okay, well, in that case, uh, unless right. anyone specifically calls for healing in the next two seconds, then the rest of my healing is all going into Alden. <clears throat> uh, Brian, how's Gwen looking? Just before we do that. Ooh, Brian, I don't understand the question. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, how is, is Gwen very injured? Gwendolyn is doing just fine. She was invisible and or out of harm's way. So yeah, out of harm's way. Rivia, I know you are right next to me. How are you health wise? Um, I'm about halfway. Okay. So I will pump the next round into you after I've get got Alden somewhat stabilized. Um, so, so, so that's far another I have eight for Alden. Uh, that should have been three rounds of four each, so You're twelve. Right. I can do math. <laughs> the greatest uh, no, my enemy. brain just went four, four, and then just stopped. <laughs> it, it's okay. <laughs> the, our greatest ally and greatest enemy. Holy um, shit! That's... Listen, I spent part of the day surfing, and my boss was just like, "You did your math wrong." I'm like. <laughs> Are we surprised? I'm an educator. I can't do math. There's a reason I work with right. three five year olds, okay? <laughs> Alright, so next round is uh, four healing to Rivia. Four? Yes. Okay. Um, and then. <clears throat> um, since Alden is real messed up, I'll pump the last one, two, three, four, five rounds into him. Um, and those are let's see, nine, four, eight, nine, twelve. Let me add that all up for you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you, we do the math, so you don't have to. While this is happening, Rivia and Gwen, what are you doing in this space? Uh, we're still on the upper floor. Hmm. Yeah, you're the still on the main concave. floor. Okay. 42 points of healing to Alden. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. He's um, real good now. Oh, he's back to full. Yay! Um, <clears throat> while he's back to full, he did have his shit kick, so he still looks... Point of exhaustion or something. Oh. Yeah, this, this is yeah. like campaign... He's alive, but he's feeling it. This... This is campaign one. We've just found Gilmore after getting rocked by a fucking dragon. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything hurts. Yeah. I'm being healed, but everything hurts. It's going to take him a while to actually wake up. Yeah. <laughs> he is no longer the dying. Yeah. yeah. And I have more heals. That was just one third level spell. <laughs> Gwen, um, Gwen I would point. like to know why you just rolled magic missile. <laughs> um, well, dear, uh, while all this was happening, um, I magic missiled Mr. Poopy Pants um, while I was like, your leader is fleeing. So, who are you? Uh, who are you magic missling? Mr. Poopy Pants. Who is that? The guy that flew away, like. The one who left rounds ago and is no longer in view. <laughs> well, this is this is assuming that I actually acted when I did, which I would assume would be possible. It's a range of 120 feet. Right. So when he left, <sighs> he he went out the door and turned a corner and was out of view immediately. And then used his he used his action surge to go even further. He hauled all of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yeetie Bird. Beep, 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 beep. 
pew, 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 pew. Still doing it. <laughs> They're gonna miss. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't Magic. seem like it felt. You, you, you can't feel like it made any contact. Magic missile never misses, dear. Um. And then I'm going to help up the poor gentleman who looks like he's been used as a pinata. And, um. The, the um, man who's, well, back to full health, still technically unconscious on the ground. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that w I mean, I it was three rounds in, so he only just came back to life. <gasps> and then, uh, yes, uh, um, I'll look around. Is anything else out of place here? Um, looking around the room, you see uh, the big hole in the floor. It's a little out of place. Of course, yes. Um, you see uh, a... Uh, um, Corvum? Um, I'm trying to remember where everybody is. Nope. 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 Yes, a, uh, nope. Wait. Oh, wait. Uh, so there is a, yes, a Corvum, um, a crow-like individual on the ground right close to your feet. Does not seem to be moving. Um, or I should say right close to Rivia's feet. Does not seem to be moving. Uh, you were at the base of the stairs. Um, you heard a slight pop and then nothing from where two other individuals had ducked behind and you haven't heard anything from there, which is why we're out of combat. You're led to believe that they fucked off too, but magically. If you um, want, you can roll a perception check for me. I would love to. Um, but also, is this Corvum friend or foe? The Corvum that's not moving on the ground? Mm -hmm. was fighting you guys. Okay. That's the one I booped to death. Ah, uh, 22. 22? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, you don't hear anything behind the crates. I will say um, around this time, because Rivia also made a roll earlier that was pretty high. So, Rivia and Gwen. Sorry, now that you got your headphones on. Rivia and Gwen, with your 21 perception earlier, and Gwen's perception. Um, as you're looking around the space, staying really quiet, trying to hear what you can hear in this space to see if there's anything else happening, you think you hear a weird, like, muffled shout um, outside the building, like, around the back. Oh dear, should we investigate that? Yes, I, I think that we should absolutely go check it out. We should be very quiet. Try From the second floor, dear? Um, well, there are windows, right, in this building? There's no windows. Um, and you guys, when you originally went to like inspect this building, you went like partially around one side and partially around the other and didn't see any windows or entrances, which is why you all kind of funneled in the front door. Um, hey. You can okay. check to see if there's anything in the back of this room, but it's kind of hard to see right now. Um, Rivia, dear, uh, could you be, uh, just a gem and, um, help me with this table? Perhaps we can use it to bridge this gap here. I'm it, assuming, sure. is there, like, a, a table long enough to... We'll say that uh, th there's enough crates. There's not really a table here, but there's enough okay. crates that you can kind of, like meal piece of uh, a walkway i'll give you that a gangplank okay cool and then uh basically one... you take a, a bookshelf and just kind of like flop yeah. it <laughs> yeah but books up because honestly like it's just rude to throw books on the ground there's not many uh, books on the bookshelf it was mostly like leftover furniture um okay well gwen's gonna hobble over uh and circumnavigate okay. the 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 border. Rivia will um, take out her short sword that she has. Alright. Um, 
and sneak around the side just to try to be real quiet. Gwen's not even trying to be stealthy. <laughs> She's All like, right, so one person stealthing, one person just walking. Uh, Rivia, roll me a stealth check just for the hell of it. Cool. Let's see stealth. Okay. A pretty, a pretty good I, stealth. I take it this is happening as okay. I'm healing Alden. This is happening as you're healing Alden, and Gerald, I'll come to you in just a moment. Gwen also has her shadow blade up, but it okay. only lasts. A minute. 21. So it's probably like about to poop out. All right, 21. You feel you feel sufficiently stealth. And yeah, your blade is still there. It's just not going to last much longer. Um, as you walk around the back, you start hearing um, creaking, complaining. Um, and you come all the way around and you see there's like an overhang that was off of the back of the building and hanging from that overhang is a net and in said net is a corvum. Wait, who is the corvum? The corvum looks very familiar to you, Gwen. Oh no! <laughs> you son <laughs> of a Bitch! You show up at all this time. What? Dressed all nice. <laughs> you show up at so, all this yes, time. Dressed all nice. There's, there's a, a Rivia. This Corvum is new to you, but Gwen, you're like. That's right. There's a very familiar Corvum in that net. Um. Hello, dear. Um. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Fancy meeting you here. What? As he's swinging it? in the net. Oh, good afternoon. Um, I may need a bit of help. <laughs> oh, of course, dear. Um, I'm going to use... Uh... You know each other? Oh, um, yes, we're old friends. Of course, we've had many a cup of tea together. Um, yes. Do you, do you know each other? Uh, they met once the during pleasure. the festival. They met briefly during the festival. No, that was red. Yeah, that was That's red. Still red? red. That, 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 yeah. that, that was right after red left. Anyway, this is. He left, right? Like before. Yeah, he red left. left. Yeah, he left. I think he came back for the festival right after red. Red left. had red had just left. Um, Galen. I'm pretty sure Galen ha had left right before Rivia came around. That's what I thought. Because Galen got to say goodbye. Yep. Right. So. Um, oh, well, anyway, dear. Yeah. I suppose. Uh, uh, likewise, uh, I was hoping a be better circum circumstances. Um, Gwen's going to throw the lance at whatever's holding the net to, to cut it down. Yeah, it's easy enough. You're able to cut them down. Uh, oh, Galen, just oh. because you rolled so shitty in the circumstance that you ended up here in the first place, um, why don't you roll me a dex save? <laughs> no! So, for those who didn't have Wizard. the context, which is the rest of you, um, I just, I was like, you're at home, right? To see how you, fit, how you find the group, just roll a d20 for me. And he goes, too. I was like, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you roll uh, enough, you don't find them, they find you. <laughs> uh, deck save? Yes. Oh. Uh, 17 total. 17, you're able to land deftly, no stumbling. Just... Well then, um... I don't want to see that because I will not be doing it again. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> Riffia will, uh, rightfully put her short swords away. See so, anyone else back here, dear? Well, um, I heard some commotion this way and um, decided to check it out and lo and behold, whenever there's trouble, you're around. Hey! Uh, oh, right! The explosion at the bridge! That's <laughs> accurate, dear. I know it's accurate, that's why I'm here. So, um, what did you inside? Um, uh... We managed to rescue someone. Uh, unfortunately, they 
It wasn't a timely rescue. Right? I think some of the others would be happy to see you. Well, uh, question, DM. Yes. I basically know what's gone down, right? Yes, you are aware, because you've been with Benna for quite yeah. a while. Um, Benna, you were there when uh, Speaker Conrad had first confronted Benna, accusing her of causing his disappearance. You saw that confrontation, and you saw how Benna took it. It was very much a, what the fuck are you accusing me of? Um, and, and I'm sure Galen was there to defuse the situation. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot of like, Benna does that stoic. I'm gonna stand over you until you back off. <laughs> <laughs> Benna, Benna, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> oh, like, I am covered. The, I am the spy master, bitch. I bend for no one. <laughs> so when Avery had left with. Benna to talk to your group of friends about what had happened you were busy with other matters at the time and Benna came back she informed you the full scope of you know where generally they were going and after a while you're like you know what I'm gonna just go help <laughs> so, um, so you were fully informed I know about who they're looking for here, yeah? The person that they were looking for, they had evidence that um, Barnabas had has his own little squad that seems to have taken Sergeant Alden Gravewind, who is a member of the guard at the Elder Heart, who is a... Um, he works kind of like a field scout throughout... Everden, mm -hmm. um, and based on the amount, actually, roll an insight check. I have advantage. Dirty <laughs> uh, twenty. Dirty twenty, yeah. Um, based on how the exchange went down, there seems to be some s that Speaker Conrad doesn't show a lot of emotion, but he was extremely emotional at that moment, which is unusual for him. So this is not just someone who reports to the guard and then reports other findings to him as the spy master. This is someone that he knows. Yep. Okie dokie. Alright, ID. <clears throat> um. Well then, um. Did we manage to find Barnabas and their little troop? Or not? This is Galen. I was to say, this is Galen asking, by the way, if no one's figured that out. <laughs> yeah, which is why I have an answer, because I'm not there. <laughs> I've been uh, the basement. This is a very good question, dear. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, how did you end up in a net? I, long story. Is it thrilling? Uh, look. Searching for traps is not my forte. So, um, I appear to have missed this one. Oh. Well, we're just glad that you're now down on the ground. Yes. Um, where was everyone else? Um, they're inside, uh, in <laughs> either a gaping hole in the ground or, um, just kind of hanging out. We're still looking for things. Uh, by the way, my name is Rivia. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, oh. my manners. Oh. Uh, you're, you're getting sloppy in your, old, in your old age, Gwen. You need to uh, <laughs> you need to get that up. I'm so tired. All the time. I'm rather surprised with all the tea you drink. Yeah, I've, I've switched to decaf. Maybe that's what it is. You're much better off the decaf, let me tell you. And Rivet, uh, Galen, pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Uh, remind me, what uh, race is Rivia? Uh, she is a uh, Luma, Sarah Luma, I believe. She looks like an American Robin. Uh, okay. So it's that kind of like brown bird with a orange belly. Um, okay. It's just super, super sweet. And I'm guessing Gerald is in the hall. Uh, 
You would guess Oh, correct. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, I don't know how Gerald ended up in the hole in the first place. The floor he, blew up. He, he either went down there of his own volition or something really unexpected happened. Well, you know, it is a, it is an everyday that the floor explodes beneath your feet, so... Yes, well, um, in Bye -bye. that case, um, shall we head down and uh, make sure that he doesn't die? As you come down the stairs, you'll see Showery helping Alden kind of situate himself up against some crates. Um, she put her old traveling clothes as a little pillow, and she's giving him some water right now from her water skin. If by down the stairs, you mean in the door, because you guys are still on the first floor. I kind of figured, I thought they went upstairs. I was no, kind of confused. No, they went out and so. around the back of the building, because they okay. heard the noise outside. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, okay. So as you come through the door, then, <laughs> across the gaping hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shouty. Oh, Galen, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. How you doing? I was stuck in a net. Oh, that's... That's rather unfortunate. <laughs> and embarrassing, let me tell you. My pride is... Uh... You do Don't also worry. see the moth friend that you picked up in the... Um, spa. The bagworm spa. <laughs> uh, at, at the door. Just kind of s staring around. So, um, the uh, moth is Shang. Chang'e, yeah. You've and met her briefly. Briefly, yeah. <laughs> well, um, seems everyone is. He looks down the hole. <laughs> Gerald! Hello, old friend. What are you doing here? Long story. Heard an explosion. Oh yeah, it was a bridge. They shot it with a. They shot. Oh. This, they tied to an explosive to it and shot it. There may have uh, been two explosions. That you there may have been two explosions. The other you, one was us falling down the hole. Thinking, you also, as he's saying, that was the bridge. Remember vaguely hearing a poof in the distance, and then as you were coming up, you noticed there was no ground and a huge chasm that you had to very carefully get across. He thinks back. Wait a minute, that was you! Can yeah. you think that was them? They shot it with an explosive. Uh, they they tied explosive to it and shot it with a firing arrow. Uh, when we got too close. <laughs> no, when I got too close. Do you need a hand up? Um, I'm gonna double check these two down here, and I'm gonna see if I can find some stairs. If not, then I'll use the rope. Which Zinzis is probably climbing up right now. I'll say Zinzis, yeah, is probably climbing it up. Climbing up <laughs> it. <laughs> um, uh, you, as you are looking down, Galen, you can see that there's obviously a lot of rubble from when the floor was blown up. Um, there's also two figures laying unmoving on the ground. Zinzi's is down there as well. And as you're looking around your current room, there's a scattering of different crates and boxes in this weird windmill tower-like thing. So on the outside, it looks like an abandoned windmill. The inside, the structure doesn't fit that. None of the gears are here, nothing like that. It looks like a weird, like, abandoned tower. Um... You see a, another corpse or unmoving individual on the ground where, and Shauri is helping a peregrine falcon like raptor that I don't remember if you've met or not. You've met uh, Alden. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No. I don't well, think so. I think. Mm -mm. It depends on if he was, Alden was with him in that first interaction he had with Conrad. He, he said Conrad was there with a couple of perch, with a couple of pigeons. No. No, no, he wouldn't have been one of those. Okay. So you have not met this individual that you are current that is currently being helped by Shari. 
there's also a staircase uh, leading upwards off and to the right. Shall we turn around? Yes, absolutely. Um, why uh, have I... Gwen is going have... to... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, Gwen is going to um, check the bodies. If they're conscious, she's going to tie them up. If they are unconscious, because they're dead... A, make a medicine check. Okay, sorry. Um, if they're dead, she's not doing anything. If they are alive, she's going to tie them up. I figure that's what you meant. Hmm. And you said medicine check? This is a natural twenty. Natural twenty. Um, the yes. only, Here. the only person on your floor, um, is dead. There are mm. two people who are on the floor underneath. Uh, they are also deceased. One of them looks like they had been shot multiple times. Girl, <laughs> mm. she like just like, <laughs> she's like, look. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we can't reform them all. We've we've done our due diligence for karma. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, looking down. Um. Uh. So, Gerald. I take it you haven't found him yet. He wasn't here. Oh, oh bollocks. I counted. How, how many did we count? Nine people and nine individuals other than Alden? Or was it seven? I was remember seven. Like up I on the foot. Because there was, if there was a, a hint, like, I think there was four bird folk. And then there were, yeah, there were four bird folk on the first floor, and then there were two observers. It was a fox and a cat person on the stairs watching, and then they dipped. Um, they did. They did as soon as the first, as soon as the first one of them went down, they just dipped. <laughs> They're just like we've seen all we need they to see. They just watched for a bit, and then um, the fox, the vulpin folk. Um, which you recognize as Shyla, and mm. a hooded Aloran that you did not recognize, um, went up the stairs. You have only checked these two floors, and technically you've only checked a quarter of the basement as it's a walled-in space. Yeah. Um. Gwen is going to check the second floor whenever someone else will go with her. Uh, be, be careful. I I will, but first I'm going to give Alden the wand of met. Wait, does that need to be? It does not. I'm going to give Alden the wand of magic missiles, and after he's all set up, and right, then so go with when upstairs. About <laughs> this point, I'll say is when he starts to like actually wake up and starts looking around, and he looks. He's very confused. He's just very. It, it's okay, Alden. It, it's okay. It's okay. You're safe. You're safe. You're amongst friends. We, we've we been sent here by Conrad to save you. Bring you home. It, Conrad is... Wait. It, it, he's not here. Is he, he's, is, he, is he all right? Is he... He's fine. He's fine. We we stopped that fucker in, that was uh, intimidating... Er, Trying to assassinate. Impersonating. Yeah. Impersonating. impersonating. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was impersonating you. Um, Galen, to answer your question, Alden looks like he's been fully healed. He's just he obviously went through a lot. This is this is looking this is as the I described earlier, this is campaign one. Gilmore just got fucked over by a dragon. When they first found him in the basement, this is that's what we're looking at ah. here. This is bad. So um, healed, but just he's ow. healed, but it's <laughs> going to take him a while to fully recover, heal, and recover. Um, his 
no he's longer die. Gashed. He's been cut. He's been stabbed in the shoulder very clearly, and that's more recently. Uh, his wings have been horrendously clipped. Uh, yeah. Ah. Oh dear. What? Well, um, <clears throat> well, Gerald, I'm gonna come down there and search with you because you unsupervised is not a good idea. I knew you called him for backup. Like <laughs> 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 one joke about being unsupervised. <laughs> no, 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 no. He asked me a while ago. <laughs> It just so happens to line up. Just so he was supposed to, to be with us. Unsupervised. He was supposed to be joining us last game, but couldn't because <laughs> of headaches. Headache? That was I mainly, in the, I'm the mainly ground. joking, but the, the timing is like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you guys are worried. I have no idea why you'd be worried at all. all right. As long we as there was like, a shop owner down there somewhere. We are... <laughs> it's just the guy in the trench coat in Resident Evil 4. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you <laughs> I accidentally uh, killed that guy once. I then. found a stand oh, no. me. I found hey guys, I found a weird metal staff. Um Gwendolyn is going to cast um, Gwen is doing detect magic as a ritual. Um, so oh. after that 10 minutes, um, if Rivia is still free, um, Gwen will ask her to join. Okay. Oh, she will. And plane. how long does detect, detect magic linger? Forever, girl. <laughs> 30 minutes, I believe. Um, is uh, when, when, when Ritual cast it, it lasts longer. I think it's actually just... It's the same either way, I think. Um... Hmm. Um, action cast is up to 10 minutes and I think ritual cast mm -hmm. is... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, I thought it was 10. Uh, and what's the range? 30 feet. And Gwen is gonna... That's what that means. Scooch a boot. Like, um, the first floor. Just the areas that we haven't checked. And she's just gonna... I think she's gonna like just take like a nice little piece of chalk or something out of her bag and just sort of like put an X near anything that looks magical or suspicious. Um, okay. So on this floor, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily you don't really get any magical orders except for what you see on your friends. Um, I will say there is a spot on the stairs. Okay. It looks kind of like hidden on the stairs. About the, like four, like the fourth step up. That like seems like there was... Yes, it seems very much like it was a trap. Okay. That's me, oh, yes. Oh, There's oh. a hidden crown in uh, underneath one of the stair steps. <laughs> That's hidden in a satchel. <laughs> I'm the lost princess. <laughs> I lost in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Rivia, do you have something you need to tell us? Um, just that I love my fiance very much, and I cannot <laughs> wait to see oh. him again. And I'm looking for my family. So you're a lost princess then. Something. Something. <laughs> something. Um. We're not getting sued for. G Galen is going down to the basement. All right, um, let's go ahead. Um, it was just that he's going to glide down, so um, just for safety. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we since we started with Rivia and Gwendolyn before, we are going to jump down to the basement mm. with Galen and Gerald. Oh. What do you do? So, Gerald is going to first go to the other strig that was down there. Um, double checking, making sure that they are indeed dead. 
so there was the, there was a there was a there was a pygmy yes. owl. There was a pygmy, pygmy owl. owl who you look over, make a medicine check. Also going to rifle through her things. Um, uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, she's she's dead. Um, and looking her over, you actually. High enough, I'll say. The overkill shots are not what killed her. Mm. That was an effective way to get a rise out of somebody, but that's not what killed her. Well, she was, so she was already dead when she was already, already dead, dead when Zinzi's kept shooting her. Okay, he just sort of looks at her like, okay, that's. <laughs> so you are searching through her shit. Yep. Okay. Uh, make me a perception check. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. Um, you find first off, there's not really much here. Um, did I say perception or investigation? Just for the sake of perception. Mind. You said perception. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, it should have been investigation, but perception works for it's, my it's, intention. It's the same. It's the same result. Yeah. So this is a looks like a older teenager, um, pretty young, um, but uh, she has a crossbow, a light crossbow, twenty bolts. A dagger, a quarterstaff, a leather studded armor, thieves tools, and an arcane focus. Um, she also seems to have the tools of an artificer with her. So she has, um, do, 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 what did I write? Um, she has uh, brewer's tools and tinker's tools. He'll, um, he's going to take the Tinker's Tools, the, the Brewer's Tools, Tinker's Tools, put those in the bag of holding. Um, he'll probably take the crossbow and the bolts, put them in the bag of holding. And he's going to, Galen will probably notice this particular part. He's going to take the dagger and just kind of look at it. And then sort of, instead of putting it, he'll sort of add it to his belt. With the other daggers, okay, and then he'll he's going to sort of resituate the body and sort of cross her arms, and then he's going to give a very, very telling look. Like he's not trying to hide. Like the only other person in this basement right now is him and Galen. He's not trying. He's not gonna. He can't hide shit from Galen because Galen kind of knows, at least in one perspective, how what he went through. It's like he just kind of looked. It's a very disappointed look like this person could have been so much more and this is where she ended up and that's sort of his expression and that kind of carries as he moves to the big guy and checks him over as well okay again uh, perception and investigation check and galen what would you like to say um i was gonna say um i will um assist to grant them advantage okay Perception or investigation, or was it was it medicine uh, and investigation? Well, it's medicine to see if he's alive or not. Okay. Medicine is a nineteen. Nineteen, he did. He did. Okay. He did. did. Good. <laughs> Good. He was a pain in my ass. <laughs> yeah. The, this one. This one. Mitch was a bar. That one was you know the artificer. This one was a barbarian. And I know the picture was a Corvum. He's actually a Gallus, because yeah. I didn't have a Gallus token. And I didn't make a chicken-related, large chicken-related joke. I could have, but I didn't. I restrained myself, mainly because he was trying to chop me in half. <laughs> I was a little distracted. But I did make a joke when the um, artificer cast enlarged person on him. And I kind of peered all around him. Was that really necessary? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. uh, and investigation. 
is a 22. 22. Um, and I'm going to count that as a perception too, because you said they're about the same, and there is yeah. a couple things that I also want to point out that's both. Okay. Um, so, again, this is a dead gallus. This one's older than you. Hmm. He's been around for a while. Um, and on him, you find a great axe, two hand axes, a javelin, um, your typical hack stuff, and a, um, a river stone that looks like it has a rune on it. Hmm. Um. Galen sees the stone. So it'll pick it up and look at it. May I? He'll hand it over. He's going to. Um, but this guy, he's going to leave the great axe. He's like, I'm not looking at that thing. I'll go back fuck upstairs. He's going to take one of one of the axes and slide it onto his belt. And to sort of take like, then um, they do the same thing he did for her. But he'll like for him he'll like put the great axe on his chest and like have him holding it. Okay. And then step back. Just one thing. I just need one of these. And again, plucks one of your feathers. Ow! What? I, I didn't have a feather on me. I am sure a few of my feathers are on the ground over there when he tried to cut me in half. You're also, it's fair. you have your own feathers. <laughs> yeah, but I, ah, but I need an owl feather. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I should slap because... your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what the I component is. <laughs> if this wasn't a terrible one, that would be too <laughs> Like, if, if I wasn't so happy it, to see you, we're counting it. It's good. Yeah. If I wasn't so happy to see you, I'd slap your shit. It, um, gonna... <laughs> because the components for identify uh, yeah. um, is a pearl worth at least um, 100 uh, GP and an owl feather. Um, he he will take the pearl and the <laughs> and the feather. And kind of crush it in his hand as he identifies the stone. All right. Um, I just need identify shows what exactly. Choose an object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. If it's a magic item or some other magic imbued object, you learn its properties and how to use them. Whether it requires attunement uh, to use and how many charges it has, if any. You learn whether uh, any spells are affecting the item and what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. If you instead touch a creature throughout the casting, you learn of what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. So basically, I learned pretty much everything. You learn everything, okay. In that case, it is a cursed luck stone. <laughs> Immediately, just like... Ah! Get away from me. I tried. <laughs> what exactly did you find? This or was it I a... find specifically? You almost found a cursed lockstone. Of course it's cursed. And uh, I'll cast remove curse. God, I love being a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not a wizard. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wizard thwarting DMs at every turn! <laughs> I'm gonna curse it in all I was so excited for this! <laughs> you ain't cursing me today, bitch! It's okay, Sarah, you can give me something cursed. You, you already are cursed! cursed. <laughs> You're already cursed! <laughs> True, true, I am a curse. My girl doesn't have enough fucking problems. I'm fucking with my eyeliner today, Mitch. I don't like it. 
<laughs> this foundation was $48. <laughs> <laughs> the foundation was $48. Oh, if I had the eyeliner, I'd be running. Whew. Then you can add a luck stone. Non-cursed version. Ooh, uh, dope. Okay. Cool. To your All inventory. Right. Plus one. Hey, fuck yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, you came down here now. You can you do curse it, you can keep it. <laughs> Is the dagger cursed? That's the real question. Shh, don't tell me. As far as it was described <laughs> to me, it was as far as it was described to me, it was a regular dagger in a regular hand axe. So I think I'm okay for now. We'll have to check them over. Yeah, but later. you're not a wizard. No. A bard. If only there were two in the party. <laughs> well, one of them's upstate. Um, well, after two and a half, kind of. <laughs> After we get that going, um, he's going to oh, continue. Oh, you cheeky sod. <laughs> you, did, you, did you look up the cursed version? Yeah. Send it to oh. me. P P DM me. What? DM me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> um, once, while he's doing that, um, once they secure the goods, as it were, and decurse things, he's going to head in through the next door and have a look around. Okay, uh, the next door is closed. Are you just opening it? Or are you just... He's going to... Well, is it closed? Because the, the big guy ran so into the was, room. There's a tiny space in between the two rooms. And that's where he fell. Okay, so, so like the door into it. the so next the room. So the one door was open. He went through that and then fell before he could open the next door. Okay, cool. Um, I am going to check the door where Drabs can check to see if it's locked. Slide a hand. Sliding of the hand. Okay, sliding of the hand is 18. The door is not trapped and it is not locked. Excellent. And Perception is an 18. 18? Hmm. There's some weird noises behind this door. I'm sorry. No, there's no noises behind this door. It's fine. You can go in. <laughs> I, got the, I got my doors confused. They are you're just fucking with it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take out my. He's going to still have a dagger ready just in case. He has you know, this one dagger he's had in his, his, his like left hand uh, gallon. He hasn't. He's like he's got like a grip on it. He has not let that thing go yet. <laughs> it's the he has the vicious dagger in one hand. Um, uh, he's going to slowly open the door and have a look inside. You open the door and it looks like this is probably where they've been keeping Alden. Oh, the torture chamber. Uh, it's more like a prison cell. Mm, okay. Probably also used for, for interrogation. Sorry, correction. The interrogation. And, I mean, some of that probably happened in here. Yeah. Besides of that. Yes. He's going to sort of look around, um, look in like, the, whatever cells they have, see if, there's, see if there's anyone else down here. Uh, so it's not individual cells, it's just one big room mm -hmm. um, that is appropriately equipped to hold more than one person if needed. Um, mm. But you don't see anybody else, and there, it's very scarce in here, there's not much. Okay. Just some chains and shit. Oh. Uh, he will keep an eye out as he moves through and head towards the next door and do the same, similar checks on that door. Okay, so you go... Uh, through and then up to the left and there is another yeah. door um, also as you are looking Galen are you following into the next room because this seems kind of like your bailiwick um, yeah so basically um, Galen is uh, behind Joe just to make sure you know, just make a history die. check while you're following in 1642 this door was called out of 23 oh, 23 <laughs> I knew this would be your bailiwick uh this building is old. And based on your history probably being close to just an intelligence, um, this is seeming a lot less like a windmill. I just read the spell. But, I just read the, the curse description. Oh, that's mean. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's nasty. What? Uh, um, just only a little disappointed. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, player to DM, does this look like a 
basically, it was a windmill, but at first, it was a prison. Make an intelligence check. Um, that is 17. 17? Okay. Um, and then also, make an arcana check. That is a natural 20 plus 8. Damn, okay. Um, so as you're looking around this room, nothing in this building... What the fuck was that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I opened, I opened, I did a message from Mitch and I opened my TikTok instead. Ah, I love when that happens. My phone cycles through like 20 apps when I'm trying to open one thing. I'm like, fuck, stop. Yes, what did he say? <laughs> Um, so it seems so far the room that you had fallen into had a lot of rubble, but it looked like it was mostly storage. This room right next door has like different chains hanging along the wall. It doesn't seem very productive to be like a prison. It's also, like I said, extremely old. This is not architecture you see anymore. In fact, it very much mimics what you've seen at the Coalition Fortress which you know had been taken over after it had been long abandoned by four people that no one remembers generations ago. Oh, did somebody uh, say mix? <clears throat> you also notice on some of the cuffs slight magic sigils along them. This Ooh. doesn't seem like a prison. And as you're walking through, you're like, this would be an interesting mage tower. Oh. This might have been an interesting mage tower. Looking through. And Gerald actually knows this sound very well. Galen just looks around and goes, Ah. He, he says, he says as Gerald's like, oh, like, like leaning towards the door with a with kit. Ah, what? <laughs> This was not a windmill originally. That much I gathered. What no. do you think it was? My uh, most educated guess. A very interesting mage tower. I don't like the you like, I don't like the word, use of the word interesting. Well, considering there's chains with uh, magic sigils on them, no. Hmm. Well, something, always tells good. Me, something tells me the mage that inhabited this was not pleasant. That's one way to put it. Bastard. There we go. Um, well, That's, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. How's the door? Uh, that's that's a good question. How is the door? Don't you make? Are we box marking this shit? I'm sorry. They're so tiny. <laughs> They're leave, so... leave my sneezes alone. I'm tough. <laughs> look, it's like a, it's look, like a pixie I... fart. And... <laughs> yes, all... you have the you have the tiny pixie sneeze. I have the oh my god, he's dying sneeze. Yeah, I have the that's a fucking sneeze. <laughs> that is me. I have a gruff, weird exterior, and then this the daintiest of sneezes. <laughs> look. I sneeze like a foghorn. I understand. So is that um, uh, sleight of hand and perception again? Perception to see, you know, if it's trapped or anything, and to see if you hear anything, and um, sleight of hand if it's locked to open it. Okay. Uh, perception, you. Uh, dirty twenty. Uh, sleight of hand is a twenty. Hold on. Twenty-two. 22? Yeah. All right. Um, so it was a locked door, mm -hmm. uh, but you were able to deftly open it. It was not trapped. It was just locked. Um, and you, this is the door that you hear noises behind. Uh, Gerald sort of. Sounds like, like, like heavy footfalls pacing. Uh, Gerald sort of 
motions uh, Galen closer and sort of raises his dagger. He's going to slowly open the door, dagger at the ready. Are you being stealthy? Yes. Okay, roll stealth. Elf. I didn't like that noise, bitch. It's not great, but it's not. Uh, it's not great, but it's not terrible. <clears throat> uh, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Galen, who's a wonderful stealth, always been wonderful at stealth. <laughs> Fifteen. That's probably the best stealth he's ever actually gotten. <laughs> okay, that actually, you're probably right about that. Um, <laughs> so you look in, um, and this is almost Scooby Doo like stacked, leaning as you peek through the door. Because <laughs> Gerald was being successfully stealthy, and Galen just kind of like clamors on top and is like, "What is it? Um, what'd you find?" I will stab um, you. And as you look in, um, you notice looking around, it looks like there's a bunch of like old, crumbled, like, well, you did roll a, a natural 20 earlier, like golems that look like they crumbled and got destroyed over time. But in this room, you also see a iron cage. Very large. Uh, it looks not like... Not like a like a dog crate size, but this looks like a big area. This is more like going to the zoo. <laughs> and behind the iron bars, you see an owl bear. You see that right? Oh, he big. And he's big. rolled a seventeen first perception, and is. Pacing and glaring towards the door. Now close the door and back away. He's, he's, he's in the cage, correct? He's in a cage. Okay. Um, okay, no, I got, I got, he's, he's just sort of, sort of like, very still in. I have a plan. And he slowly what, opens what, the door. You connect, what, you're gonna connect him over an owl level? What are you gonna do? Just gonna, just, just, first of all, Next of all, he's going to just like sort of slip in and sort of weave his hand, and um, I'm going to cast sleep. Okay, cast sleep. Roll it. Okay. Yeah. Basically, need to hit half of his hit hit points. Oh, five d eight. Five d eight. The total you is to, how. You have to... It's so sleep is a gross number of hit points, and you roll that, and then you can knock out as many people as hit points you have. So if you have a whole bunch of bandits who have like thirteen hit points, and you roll like sixty, then you can knock out multiple bandits because each of them have. You just like it goes from sixty, and then you minus the thirteen, and then you minus the thirteen for each person you knock out. Yeah. Okay. So like. This is roll 5d8, and that is the total number of hit points of someone I can knock out, so. Ooh, liking that. Liking that. Ooh, okay. So that's gonna be... Twenty-six. Twenty-six total? Yes. It staggers a little bit, but it's unaffected. Hmm. That's not good. Is that the twenty-six out of and a potential now... thirty? Huh? <laughs> that's not good, because that's the twenty-six out of a potential thirty. <laughs> Sleep's not great at higher levels. Until higher, well, with with higher level characters, the higher level you are, the greater it becomes. Well, mm, okay. Uh, you mm. add d6. Okay, uh, get in oh, no, oh, I was on the wrong. I was rolling the wrong guy. It's d8. 
It's 5d8, not 5d6. You I can't. Right. You're right. Try again. I can't fucking read! <clears throat> You're saying, uh, or are you going to help me? Um, I don't have sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, that's fair. I can blow it the fuck up. <laughs> not too much. Look, I am already. Fuck away. I am already in trouble for killing one out there. I'd like to spare this one. Tahiri's not here. I'm just saying. Tahiri has Tahiri's a similar reaction. Tahiri has a walking fucking zoo with her at all times. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. That I, don't think, I don't think sleep is something I have in my spell book. I do not. Uh, okay, that's a lot better. Um, how does 35 work? Oh, oh Bear's got it. lots of hit points. He's, he's a beefy boy. He's just kind of like, he's just kind of like, mm. like... It's now, like, biting on the bars, and it looks like it's actively trying to get you because it understands... Well, they don't have a lot of intelligence, but you're there. And they don't know you. Okay. That's... Yeah, Roll right. perception uh... checks, both of you. Uh, 23. Okay. 18. 18? I'll say you both notice. Um, as it's biting and clawing at the bars now, you notice... On the wall behind it is a ladder that goes up. Um, Looks like they had a great way of keeping people in the dungeon. Hmm. Showery over the necklace. So how goes it down there? I don't have my necklace. Gerald's not wearing it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! I have my anti. <laughs> I have my anti-detection necklace. Uh, hello. But I think Gallon has his. Hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. Oh. Right here. Right over here. Here. No, no, I didn't check upstairs. I checked downstairs. I was like, okay, so. I'm, we're sorry. The nephew you were trying to reach cannot be dialed at this time. Ah, oh, okay. crap. Thank you for using Sprint. Okay. Uh, I did. Plan B. Um, I'm going to use an illusion. I'm going to use an illusion. And you're going to move to the ladder, and then I'm going to follow you, and then we're going to leave him down here for right now. If I don't see you following me at, at least ten feet behind me, I will... I have spells that can make you get up there. And I have spells that can make you go there. So, we'll put those aside for now. I'm going to use um, Phantasmal Force. I'm going to place it, I'm going to close the door again. And I was like, as I open the door again, I use phantasmal force to make it to make like um, I'm going to select uh, the who? Wait, wait, wait! Secondary idea. Um, he goes the gallon. Are you able to disguise yourself? Um. I could, I could do I could do better than disguise, and um, he clicks, and he's invisible. That works. I'm going to use disguise self and appear to be the um, pygmy owl streak. So, okay. Um... Well, he's going. And then he's going to reopen the door and they casually walk with his invisible friend towards the thing. Okay. Where's the ladder? Um... And for roll context, me, yes, I will be stealthing. Roll me. Mm -hmm. Two things. Mm -hmm. Animal handling and intelligence. Okay. 
Animal hand alley. Should I roll stealth? In a bit. Um, 21 animal handling. Okay. And a general intelligence check. Nineteen. Animal handling check. It's an owl bear. It mostly relies on its sense of smell. You don't smell like the pygmy owl. I technically I have her blood on me. <laughs> Intelligence check. Gwen dropped a rope in the first room. You don't have to use the ladder. Yes, you feel like. Okay. That's right. He's gonna stop getting his like move his hand over to like stop where Galen would pass him. Like <coughs> I'm gonna take a quick look around another quick look around the room just, just to like see if there's anything other than the owl bear and a ladder in here. Uh with the natural twenty that you had earlier, correct? Uh for I had a if dirty you 20. had a perception check earlier? I had a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty? Yeah. No, you don't notice anything. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Aelin is going to go under his arm. <laughs> if I feel him moving, I'm going to grab. Just like, no. Can I? There's, there's, a, there's a rope ladder back in the other room. I don't see anything else here. <laughs> Slowly back out rope. with Galen. <laughs> like, no. Just a rope. Just a rope. Not there's a rope, a rope we can jump. Rope so, can how's jump. it going down there? Shari shouts down the hole. Um. Yeah. Upon hearing you shouting, Shari, you're up with Alden uh, treating his wounds. You shout that down there, and you hear a very loud roar <laughs> from the basement. <laughs> and Alden kind of flinches <laughs> before he's just like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I Joe's... that thing was there. Yeah, Joe's still like, pull Gallon out, close the door. And now we run. <laughs> Perhaps you should flee. Working on it. You were trying to tuck under the arm, but see, what were you trying to do? I was going to go under the arm, stay in the room for a bit, and have a good fucking scan of what's in the room. Um, Make one more perception check. Come on. 18. <clears throat> you see the destroyed golems. You see the owl, angry owl bear. You see the ladder behind him. Can I? Hmm. Yeah, because that was described just to give clarification. It's not a he's in a cage over here. It's there's a section of the wall. He's behind the he's he's in the cage, behind the cage again. The, the cage goes against like yeah. The cage doesn't like take zoo. up the entire room. The cage starts, so if the door, like, if this pen is the wall, so there's a half circle, so it's like, there's a wall here, and then half circle is there. The door is here, and then there's a cage line that goes from here up to the half circle, and that rest of that bit is his um, home. Behind there is where the rope ladder is. There's still like this, it's almost like, like a bit of a hallway. Where it's like cage on one side, wall on the other side. And in there is where you see broken up golems. And it looks like it's like two that are broken up and scattered on the floor. I cast detect magic in the room. Well, um, just to really see if there's anything in the room. Okay. You cast detect magic and lose your invisibility. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just... You cast <laughs> the part, yeah, part of the, of the wall to your left has an illusion over it. There is a door. Gerald! He's he, like, okay, like, that's what his plan there was. There is now an angry, and, and while you're doing this, the owlbear is now like lunging at 
like through the trying to reach through the bars and is banging on it. It's not succeeding because it's fucking cage built for an owl bear. Yeah, Gerald's gonna pop his head back in. Of course you're not dead. Did you find something? Illusionary wall. There's a door behind it. Do we have to roll into it? You know, let's just go. <laughs> let's go see where it goes. And yes, um, there was a Dark Souls joke rolling in the wall. <laughs> I've been, I've been playing too much on ring. Don't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Don't. Do I have to hit uh, it 50 times? <laughs> um, do we have to cheese it? So, <laughs> going, like, still with the uh, with the door, uh, with my Detect Magic Vision, she's going to go over to the wall and... Oh, here it is. Does it open out or open in? So, you go to put your hand up to the illusionary wall? And it just passes through. Just go through it. Right here. Stay. As, as he points to the owl bear. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, actually, let me look at my inventory real quick. Um, really you're fast. A, you're not about to give it food, are you? Shut up. <laughs> um... He is gonna like. Is there also is there like any food just sitting around that they would normally feed it? Make a perception check. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. It looks like um, right near the door is probably a barrel with some, you know, chickens and shit. He's gonna he's gonna uh, real quick go like pop it open, take out like three chickens, and uh, sort of like toss them like through the bars out to the other side of the like here have right. food um it, e it very quickly scammers over to the food and starts eating it and you guys enter the room and we are gonna jump to another group and then ah. um since rivia just walked away we will come up to where shari and shanga and zinzis are though two are not there and alden is laying on yes. the ground um, he does start to try and sit up a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was doing earlier, is getting him situated, uh, yeah. sitting up against a crate. Yeah, he's he looks around and looks at you and goes, uh, Thanks. Uh, we, I don't think we've had a chance to meet, and kind of looks over at Zinzi's and nods and goes, Oh, friends, I'm all right. Uh, it, it, it's okay. My, my name is Shaori. Alden. Nice <laughs> and I'll be your healer you. today. <laughs> I appreciate that. I definitely could use it. I, I can tell. Um, By the way, how's your insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Totally off topic, Don't. but I did see a TikTok video where someone wants to pay, play a uh, yes. lawful evil cleric who works like oh, the u.s no. insurance system uh, yes <laughs> no he works for the u.s healthcare system like, so what insurance plan are you on so, yeah, that's gonna be yeah. I, I would love to... that the, unfortunately what you need right now will not be covered by your current plan <laughs> like <laughs> oh fucking brilliant. Yeah. I, I, you, sorry no prosthetic wings for you like, oh uh, man I, I feel like it that's... looks like your plan only includes a healing word. You'd have to go up to the next <laughs> tier. To yeah, add just draining healing. money out of the party. And, and it also looks like you haven't filled your deductible of you know three severed limbs. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, if, if We're you get need a, and that's going to cost you about three hundred gold pieces. Thank you. Our billing Brilliant. department will take care of it for you. <laughs> oh, and, oh, and, and, and three hundred just covers a zombie bite. We, uh, you'll have to as an additional upcharge to cure you of plague. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can track it. So, so that seems like something that would require a greater restoration, and your insurance only covers the lesser. <gasps> uh, Moving we on. We have to get pre-authorization. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh no, that was horrible. <laughs> I feel Did icky. You see your general, <laughs> you general clerical yet for your monthly checkup. Oh. All right, all right, all right. 
<laughs> Amazing. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, he looks over to you. Uh, well, I, I certainly appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, that, uh, what, that's no problem. <clears throat> how did you? Where did you? Where did you all even come? From? How did you even find this place? Um. <laughs> Let's just say you've got someone looking out for you. I'll leave it at that for now. <laughs> you you don't need to be uh, thinking too too hard about that kind of stuff. You just need to relax, get your strength up, and we're gonna secure the the place and make sure that there are no more threats before we get you out of here. And... All right, thanks. In, in fact, mm. just <laughs> just for your own peace of mind, I'm gonna hand over my uh, wand of magic missile and say, go ahead and cast this at anybody that uh, you know is not one of us here. <laughs> not normally. Not my... that you'll be alone, but you know. Not normally. Just grab my, a piece of mind. My total of choice but I'll, I'll take it if you <laughs> anything works in a pinch right <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> uh, if you happen to see a rather ornate looking bow when you're looking around here uh, let me know i will most certainly keep my eyes out for it well, thank you um i'm gonna leave you in the very good hands of zinzi's here and Rivia, or no, not Zin, not Rivia, uh, Changa, sorry. <laughs> Mixing my characters up. Uh, Zinzi's and Changa here, and I'm going to go help our friends upstairs. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. See you he soon. He almost kind of like leans back and closes his eyes. Okay. Good, good. He, yeah, he needs to rest. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna go follow up after my friends. All right, uh, Gwen, are you still there? Yes, dear, of course. Did you point out where the spot on the step was that you saw with your detect magic? Darling, I'm not a sadist. Of course I did. All right, so you guys make your way upstairs, showery. It's been marked, so it's easy to avoid. You're able to catch up with your friends on the second floor. Rivia, good timing. Perfect timing. Uh, you guys come up to the yeah. second floor and um, you are spiraled into um, what looks to be a small eating area. This is that's broken up into a lot of little rooms up here. Um, this one ha it's more like a small sitting area. Um, it's got a couple different sets of tables and chairs, smaller groups. Um, there is a door off towards the um, so you come up the stairs and then on the far side of the room you can see a door um, but other than that I mean there's like some books on the shelves this is it looks like a like a relaxation room it's a bit more homey than you would have expected for an abandoned windmill that strangely has floors on it instead of just a big empty silo space. Yeah. Strange there's no uh, machinations. No machinations at all and individual floors. Very you also indeed. see no trace of the Vulpin or the Aloran that you saw come up these stairs earlier. I mean, you can keep Thank looking you. through the rooms but in this room right here, you don't see any trace of them. They're not here. Can I look around and see if I can find anything of interest? Indeed. Uh, I would also check. like to assist. All right. Make uh, I'll assist you. Advantage. <clears throat> Perception with advantage. Thank you for the help. You have to come out of the tower. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Hopefully we make it out of this tower. be... Uh, 18. 18. Um, in this room, there doesn't seem too much. Like I said, there's some books on the shelves. Um, seems like a sitting area. There's a small fireplace that's long been out. 
Um, which is strange because you didn't see any chimney on the outside of the building at all. It's just a fireplace. Um, and it also looks like it's towards where like the middle of the room would be instead of around the outside. It's just a very strange space. Can I like investigate that fireplace a little more? I'd like to like look up, see if it has yeah, go, something. Go in ahead, it. make an investigation <laughs> check. Thank you. Um, you do see a couple books that might be of interest if you want to just take some books, Rivia, and then, um, since you rolled pretty high, I'll say that, like, it's almost like, like, tucked under some of the furniture, or, like, in the cushions, you know how sometimes, like, coins fall out of your pocket? So you find about, like, five gold scattered throughout this room. Sorry, what did you get? I rolled a 17. <laughs> is uh, what comes out of Shaori's look... nose as a bunch of dust comes down out of the chimney <laughs> you go to look into the and up the chimney there's no chimney it's just a rounded top there's really nothing that's interesting to it. but no. I mean there's like wood in the it burnt cinders are in there hmm. it's obviously been used like really huh okay so it actually looks like it's a used fire pit with no flu. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What can we have? Uh, nothing magical, by the way? Um, the fireplace gives off a... I forgot about that. The fireplace does give off a slight magical aura. Um, this... How, actually, since you Mike have that... Ali. Yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> diagonally. Diagonally. <laughs> it's supposed to be in Diagon Alley, but he says diagonally. Diagonally. Which <laughs> is uh, just, just the whole joke. And we're all just like, yeah. <laughs> um, it ends up all the yes, way in Nocturne Alley. It, it looks like the fireplace is, in fact, enchanted so that they could have it where it is without needing a flu. It's more like a like a permanent installment of the camp. Blue powder. Okay. But nothing really magical in this room. Do you want to continue out the door? It is an open door, by the way. I would like to collect all of the books uh, we find and just shove them all into my bag of holding. Uh, whatever Rivia doesn't take, because you mentioned she found some. Add. <laughs> Rivia, did you take any books or no? Uh, no. Okay. So, Shari, just add 20 um, books from Abandoned Tower to your inventory. Okay. And we'll deal with that all later. Huh? Yep, I'll deal with that at the house. Are you guys going to continue out into the next? Pardon me. Uh, yes, I would like to. I'm gonna look right. for that bow. Those <laughs> pretty badass ladies, of course we're going to, dear. Alright, so you go out, and it looks like this is a center chamber, and there are one, two, three, four, five other doors around you. Ooh, this one is open, and the one directly to the right is open. Go right into the right. <laughs> yeah, I was about Take to say. Take a little peek. Go on the right. <laughs> All right, you go uh, into the I'm, right. Well, I'm just following, but she'll point out anything that's magical, of course. Well, as you go into this room on the right, um, you see, make an Arcana check for me. Ooh, I will totally do that. I'm very good at that. Shari and Gwen both. Uh, mm, shit. Oh dear, my dice oh. love me tonight. Too bad. 21. Oh. Also 21, actually. Oh, very nice. Um, so, Gwen, because you have Detect Magic up, it's more like, it's not like there's anything in this room that's currently actively magic, but you get this faint, like, buzz in the air that a spell has recently been cast. 
Oh dear, somebody's been casting spells. Um, and as you are looking around this room, it is probably when it hits both Shauri and Gwen that this was never a windmill. This was a wizard's tower. As you see on the ground, it looks like the cracked and broken, no longer existing remains of a magic circle. So it's not like the magic Ooh. circle was used to leave this room, but you <laughs> see now you see more runic symbols. You see an actual magic circle that has long since been destroyed. You can see some machinations. You know, this is very like Full Metal Alchemist shit all over the walls. Because oh, no. I remember reading about uh, towers like this. Um, Father Kasuf had, had books on these. I've never seen one before. This is dangerous. We need to be extremely cautious here, he thinks. Well, if you think so. But there could be all kinds of leftovers that uh, I don't think you want to mess with. Or maybe you do, I don't know, but not with our friend downstairs. <clears throat> okay, all right, well. As a wizard, I would say a wizard tower would be a quite an interesting place to explore. Absolutely, with extreme caution. <laughs> When have you known me to be to throw caution to the wind? I couldn't even finish that sentence without laughing. Exactly. Now imagine other wizards, perhaps even more powerful. <laughs> Are we, um, now is probably a good time to mention, uh, it's almost nighttime, right? It's midday-ish. Oh, you yeah. guys started this battle at like 10 a.m. Oh, I'm a little bit at Oh, no, wait, at like 4 4, 4 p.m. I got that confused. Yeah, there was a little I, bit confused. of travel. Yeah, 10 a.m. was when, like, you reached the bottom of the mountain. I got confused. So it's, it's early like, evening. It's all of us. Um, uh, I'm probably going to need to rest here shortly. Should we, should we rest in this place that people know that we are going to be at? If we are going to rest here, then we are going to have to put up perimeters. Correct. Um, and safety precautions. So and that, watches. Well, you know, I do have, um, I do Because have... we kind of attacked the people in here, uh, there could be people who come and end up attacking us. So... I, I do have a spell that I can cast as a ritual. Um, it's called, uh, Tiny Hut. Oh, yes, that's helpful. Yes, and, uh, I can cast it inside, so we don't have to worry about, um, you know, um, going too far, but uh, it's up to you all if you, if you think that that's a good idea. I think that would be good. I'd, I'd love that idea. We need to set it up in a, or I would like us to set it up in a way to be blocking an entrance. <laughs> well, so that if somebody does try and enter, they're blocked by the hut. <laughs> I, as much as I would love to um, put it on uh, floating in midair, I don't think... Uh... It doesn't have to be the front door. <laughs> well, isn't that the only point of ingress here? True. We could put it on the outside. <laughs> Though it'd be sleeping on the dirt. No, I'd much rather <laughs> sleep somewhere. Well, you know... Are there any beds in here? <laughs> I'm going to poke my head out. room? In this particular room that you're in right now, no. Okay. I'm going to poke my head out and go to the next door, check for Are traps. Just continuing around the circle around the, the right? Um, and yeah. by the way, there's a spiral staircase that continues upward right in the middle of this okay. set, okay. this shared space that has all the doors. Um, you know Good what? Know. Uh, let me... Um, oh, the possibilities are endless here. Um, I'm going to uh, cast detect magic once more so just don't mind me i'm going to sit here and knit for about 10 minutes okay um you look into the next room and it looks like this looks like it's probably like dry storage for food okay uh i'm gonna take out a bit of chalk from my component pouch and write food on the door okay move on to the next one check for traps check if it's locked the next room <laughs> looks like a dining hall it's got uh, multiple very long tables. 
um, with a very prominent head of house seat. Okay. And the top of one of them. Okay. I'll close that door and write consumption. <laughs> All right. Next door, check for traps, check if it's locked. <laughs> the next door looks like it's probably <laughs> the kitchen space. It, these doors are opening freely. There's no traps on them. This is obviously I'm their living still space. Still checking. They weren't expecting anyone to go upstairs. Yeah, still checking it. Totally understand. Just let me. Just just so you know why I'm not having you roll these. I I understand. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> um, this room looks like it's probably the kitchen, uh, and it okay. probably looks like where they you know butcher and prepare whatever they catch when they're hunting. All right. Close that door. Right galley. Next door. Same thing. The next door, if uh, Gwen has her magic up already, has a little bit of an enchantment to it. It looks like this is a cold storage room. This is basically a walk. This is this is working at the restaurant. This is the walk-in. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. It looks like it was an old enchantment that they were able to um, repair in this space. Okay. Uh, what do I want to write on this door? I'll write chili room. <laughs> with a Y. <laughs> All right. And then go on. Uh, there are no more doors. That was no more doors. There's only so many doors in this room or in this okay. on this floor. Is there a door for the room that we entered, or was there like was it, it off its hinges? It was. There was a door. It was already open. Okay. On that door, I'm going to write old teleport room. <laughs> So that was actually, so the first room you came into was like a sitting room. The second room oh. you went into was like the teleport room. Yeah. There's one, that, two, the... three, four, five, six rooms total. Okay. Well, on the teleport room door, I'm going to write old teleport room. Okay. <laughs> so now they should all be labeled. All right. They are all labeled. Uh, I'll say at this point, Gwen, your spell is up that you're ready to keep going. Um, you do notice the magic essence coming from the cold room. Yeah. But other than that, you guys don't really find much of interest in, in this area. Um, I would just like to make an investigation check to see if there's anything particular note, if that's alright. Make an investigation check. Well, that's a 17, dear. 17. Alright. Um, I will say you do notice that the room with all the magic stuff like, some of them look like, some, most of these rooms look like kids have been raised here. The teleported room is pristine, um, despite the age of everything in there. And the eating, the dining chamber, looks like it is meticulously maintained. Particularly around where that um, head of household seat is me is kept hmm. there any sigils or names or... Uh, there were some sigils that looked like they were older uh, in the big teleportation room um, but this looks like it's shared space so it's not like anyone has a so and so's room keep out you know hmm I'll take a peek around. Just all right. You. Uh, it's just what I described. There's really nothing much magical. Uh, just those two points that are very, very particularly maintained. Um, yeah. There's also you guys can keep going upstairs if you'd like. If nobody has anything left on this floor, absolutely. <clears throat> I'll be right behind you, dear. All right, you guys come upstairs, and you are again in a large chamber um, with multiple doors. This time it is is an it's like the room is almost shaped like an octagon, and on each of those sides is a door, um, and it's much more ornate looking in this chamber. It also looks a even more like downstairs was like 
or the floor right below you was much more like this is the eating space this is much more lived in just from the outside okay. but it's also has more of that almost militaristic level of cleanliness what do you want to bet this is where our uh, pals were sleeping Uh, is there any chance? What was that? Yeah. I'm not a betting woman most of the time. Um, should I take the door and we'll just take the door as well? Sure. Want to open all four at once? To see what happens? <laughs> Eight rooms. Oh, well, no, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, three four of people. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> three, three people. people. Sorry, I was thinking there was four people. <clears throat> Shower, you, you have that thaumaturgy power, right? I do, actually. Yeah, let me try that. Okay. I'm going to, like, settle in in the, like, as close to the center of the room as I can. And I'm going to try and blow all eight of the door open at once. <laughs> You yeah. cast thaumaturgy and like I'm jester in to. a tavern, jester in a tavern. You open all of the doors with a without with a without with a resounding whack as they all fly open. <laughs> Don't worry, right now. Open Sesame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never opened more than one before. That was cool. That. <laughs> oh, Applause, dear. Applause. I thank you. I thank you. I uh, live for the applause, applause. Um, <laughs> I, I gestured to one of the rooms and <laughs> be my guest. <laughs> Maybe I'll go in one of them. All right. Are you going to the north, the south, the west, or the east, or any of the spaces in between? You go the north. North? All right. You walk into the north chamber and it has that very particular matilleristic lived in space kind of a feel. Um, there is a desk, there is a bed, there are some shelves, but this is very There's a weapons rack on the wall. Are there any weapons on the weapon racks? <clears throat> no. Not at the moment. Okay. Well, since I am from the Pacific Northwest, I shall head northwest. <laughs> northwest? Alright. You go into that room, and this room is also pretty well the both of those rooms look like they've been used for quite a while this one also looks like it's been used for quite a while a while and this is much more like there's an oversized bed that's never been made it's much <laughs> more messy um someone's been punching the wall for no fucking reason at all <laughs> okay okay cool yeah I'm going to jump on the bed. <laughs> you go to jump on the bed, and it's almost like someone keeps flopping in the same spot of the bed continuously. Like, there's a there's a divot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guessing I fit all within that divot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was a big person. <laughs> I'll climb out and just Join the others in the middle room. All right. Um, Gwen's gonna go into uh, one of the two doors they did not go into. Uh, there's a lot of those actually because there's eight rooms in this. <laughs> so basically, six other doors. Yeah, pick. Oh, I think um, there was four. Sorry. No, no, no. That was miscommunication between a lot of people. Um, basically. Pick a compass positioning. The north and the northwest door have been checked, but you have everything else. North and northwest. I'll go west. 
west. You go into the room that's on the west hand side, and this one actually has a couple different beds in it. Um, much younger in decoration, um, some shelves, couple desks. Much less militaristic, much more. No other way to describe it, but like teenage girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, all right. Well, I think nothing in here imports. So, right now, I'm assuming you guys are just, like, looking in to see what you see. If you want to do anything more in-depth, let me know and we'll make it a roll. Okay. I would like to check. Uh, I, I get the feeling that this was, a, like, a big brute's room. Not too much is going to be interesting in here. So I'm going to head to the south door and go in and check oh. that one. <clears throat> uh, I did almost forget completely. Um, Gwen, as you walk into that gr room for the teenage girls, um, mm -hmm. you notice, uh, kind of hidden under one of the beds is a magic glow. Is a magic? Glow. From your detect magic. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, what's a magic? Ping! Uh, okay. Well, I'll obviously, I'll check it out. All right, you pull it out, and it is a book. A book? It is a book. A magic book? A magic book. Okay. Um, I will, um, I will let Shari know. Right. Shari, you were heading to the south room while this yes. happens? All right. I'll say you had gotten into the south southern room you guys are totally skipping a room that's fine i like yeah this. i know <laughs> um, you go down into that room and this room seems more regal almost um this room is very well decorated it is quite fancy um this room i would like to search very large <laughs> bed this room you'd like to search, you said? I would, yes. Roll. They got job. Uh, okay, not uh natural twenty plus uh what the hell's my investigation? Oh. Two twenty two. <laughs> twenty two. All right. I'll say at this point then Gwen comes to you um as you're scouring this room because this is gonna take you a while. Oof. But as you're <gasps> scouring it, um Gwen also catches a ping. There is something magic in this room. Uh, but that's not what you find for Shari, because Gwen is able to see that. You are at the desk area, and as you're mm -hmm. kind of running your hands along, it almost like it catches on something. Oh, I've built these before. <laughs> a note. It looks almost like a notebook drops into your hand, but you open Ooh. it and you can't read any of it. It's definitely I, coded, heavily coded. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I it's like blank, can't read it, or no, I can't no, read what is written. It's very heavily coded. <clears throat> Understood. Ooh. I am going to very gently place that into my bag of folding. <laughs> uh, illegible notebook. Oh, well, hold on, dear. Uh, trade me. Uh, oh, oh, what, what are you trading me? Um, my book for your book. Oh, never mind. You can go ahead and hold on to all of them. No. Uh, oh, okay. And I put <laughs> I put the alleged one into my book bag, and then I'll open the one that uh, uh, Gwendolyn gave me. All right. Are you just reading through it, or are you? I uh, just doing a quick glance to see what what kind of of book it is. Uh, roll. Because I have a lot. <laughs> roll Arcana for me. Arcana. I am good at Arcana. Plus eight to whatever that was. Uh, also 22? I think. 22. Okay. 
Um, I will say, as you open it, um, it almost gives off this aroma of, like, a rosehip tea. Just a very pleasant smell that both of you are picking up. Ooh, um, are you sure this isn't your book, Gwen? It smells very much like you. It is definitely a book with spells. Uh, it is a it is a it is a spell book uh, that would require attunement by a wizard. <gasps> oh, I'm a wizard. Yes, you are. I'd like to read it first, please. What do I give? I, I, what? So as you go to read, read it. It's almost like the lettering becomes kind of fuzzy to you. Oh. As it requires attunement by a wizard. Uh, I see. Well, tell you what, dear. Um, I'll attune to it, and then I'll give it to you. That sounds nice. I, I'll give it back. <laughs> Gwen. Yeah? Add Heart Weaver's Primer to your inventory. So, 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 so what? what? Uh, Heart oh. Weaver's Primer. Okay. Can be added to your inventory. Why do, I, <laughs> why do I not like that? Why do I, why do I not like that at all? Can I, since I'm a knowledge cleric, <laughs> can I use a, a channel divinity to like, I want the item. Come, uh, let's see, where the frick is that? specific one uh i can i can gain proficiency with any skill or tool can i gain proficiency with the book nope, so i could read doesn't work that way requires uh, a wizard because, uh, uh stitch weaver prime prime uh, sorry heart weaver primer damn three words do we have a wizard in the party currently yes they do that's not you <laughs> There are two currently. <laughs> this is why I'm only half a wizard, damn it. <laughs> One day. You are an artificer. Yeah. Or no, sorry, you are a cleric. I am. I, I am the closest thing to a divine wizard without being a wizard. <laughs> you just happen to be a knowledge cleric. It's not the same. <laughs> no, but it's close. I get a lot of wizard stuff. <laughs> well, it's okay because I'm a divine wizard, so um, I do a lot of. Like, yeah, we're like, you know, we're like, yeah, we're complimentary. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, and Galen is also here. find uh, showery, and when you pull it out, uh, you see a, 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 a case that is kind of tucked alongside the uh, bedside table that Ooh. you pull out, uh, and Gwen, you notice that this also gives out a, a glow um, that is, is sitting. It trapped. It, <laughs> make a perception check or a, a sorry an investigation check okay 18 18 it is not trapped but it is locked when what school of magic is this oh uh, you know it'll take me about 10 minutes to figure it out um you, you have you have to take magic up Oh, uh, so you can tell that the glow is coming from within the case, not the case itself. Oh, okay. Coming from within the case. Okay. I dive in with my thieves' tools. <laughs> All right. You open the case. Roll a sleight of hand. I am losing so many dice. Rivia, while they are around in one of the rooms, are you checking any of the other ones? Yeah, I'll still check any of the rest of them. Okay. Where are you headed? Oh, uh, she'll just go down the line. Alright, so the next room that they skipped, if you want to head there, um, you open that, you go in that room, and it looks like a, a bathroom. Cool. Skipping over where they are to the following room um, is another room that looks like it's got some uh, multiple individuals living in this room. There's a couple different beds. Um... But it, it's relatively basic. Um, 
Uh, the following room after that has three beds in it. Uh, and a chest in the, like, a couple bedside tables. Um, and the room after nice that, the room after that has one bed, a giant pile of blankets, <laughs> and a shit ton of oversized feathers in it. <laughs> uh, first of all, she'll check out the chests and the nightstand. Okay. First, is Make, see if um, there's anything in there. As you're going in these rooms and you want to actually like start opening drawers and stuff, mm -hmm. um, make me I I investigation checks. Investigation. Make three of them. Three investigation. Shari, what was your sleight of hand? There it is. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah, it pops open and inside it looks like a like piccolo. Ooh, I'll cast identify on that. Okay, it is an instrument of scribing. Inter instrument of scribing. Interesting. Okay. I got uh, 12, 14, and 15. Okay, you find about... It's math, people. And you said it was a piccolo? Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, 53 gold in between the rooms. Nice. Mm. Let's go. 53, right? Let's go. Shopping. You also find some, like, it almost looks like training tools. Like big, like training level lock picks in some of these rooms, like especially the ones with that look like it's a bit younger. Yeah. Um. You find some baby's first lock pick. <laughs> yeah. In uh the room with the two teenage girl beds, uh, it looks like you f you find uh, a couple of drawings from someone that looks very very young. Um. And yeah, that's about all you find in those rooms. Um, and then there's one other thing that gets found in the big room because all the magic is being caught and there was a high, high roll. Yeah, um, yeah, um... And I'll say that you pop into that room to be like, hey, what did you all find? When, uh, Gwen, you pull out, with because of your magic, you pull out a very interesting looking, almost like a guitar, but it's not. Ooh. It's a band-aid? Okay. Oh, sorry, no, this actually would not be in that room. This is in one of the other, this is in that room. So you need Gwen to go to a different room. I forgot who it belonged to for a moment. I mean, Gwen is going to just kind of do like a confess. Yeah. And uh, in that case, we'll say it's the same thing. Gwen kind of like tucks into the other room and goes, oh, that looks like an interesting glow and pulls it out as you're walking through the rooms. And it's a very interesting looking loot like uh, instrument that has a magic glow. You know, wait, is Gerald the Bard in this one? Gerald is a bard and Rivia is a bard. Oh. oh! Uh, you know, Rivia, if you had put Rogue Bard on your name, I would have. <laughs> <laughs> we, have we have established that none of us can read. Uh, yeah. In right. other words, um, um, so whoever finds it, um, it goes to Rivia. 
Yeah, so when you would actually be the one to find it because you have a spell up that helps you find oh, yeah. things that are hidden but it is oh. like it is very hidden like you end up having to lift some of the floorboards up because you saw the glow underneath it and that's where you see this thing has been hidden Rivia, Rivia dear I need your assistance in here please yes what, what, what is it she's like prying open like one of the floorboards oh, oh goodness and Rivia will help her <laughs> I'm just imagining Gwen as the little lady goes going and having a full word in the head goes <laughs> Oh, oh my I'll run and shove my mace in the floorboard so it doesn't fall back down <laughs> Alright um, You pry it open and you look and it is a pristine looking instrument. Oh, does this tickle your fancy, dear? What is that? What's, what is this accent? <laughs> <laughs> Babushka! What? What Babushka! <laughs> I, have just, I just just have to think there? of Jester. Um, yeah, wh what's, what is that? <sighs> so... I think it's uh, a thing. You pull out, and I'm just going to send it in the group so that you can see it as well as, because I can't pronounce it, um, this very interesting looking, it looks half like a lute, but it continues over. The strings continue along its body. It's so many strings. I can't see it with this link. Do, 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 do. That's fine. I will do this. It oh. looks like... <laughs> Sorry. Whenever it appears in fully sense. There it goes. It looks like that. <laughs> it's a folk-looking... folk-looking bandor. Okay. It right. is one of, for anyone who's watching at home, it is one of the, what is it called? Um, it is one of the instruments of the bards. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, she'll be like, Oh, oh! I I hope you realize that I'm I'm taking this. <laughs> Darling, it uh, is and yours. It definitely has a magic aura <laughs> as you're looking at it, Gwen. There is never a question, dear. This is this screams you. It's beautiful with the the, the in, intricate carvings and the designs. And, ah, I'm I'm probably going to play be playing all through the night. <sighs> Rivia, as you're looking. at at this instrument, uh, which is not something that you're familiar with, but as you're staring and focusing on it, it's almost like it's becoming more obvious how to work an instrument like this, how to hold it, how to properly play it. It's becoming very natural as you is a t an attunable item. You can add it to your inventory. Do not ask me to try and pronounce it again. <laughs> could you could you drop the name in the chat so I can add it? Sure. I, I can do that. I can do a copy paste. Okay. Thank you. You can also look up instrument of the bard and it shows up as one of the things on the list. Got it. Beep. That's so awesome. Beep. There we go. So speaking of uh, yeah, bard is. tools, I also found this little piccolo inside the box. Well, Gwen kind of found it, but I was also lurking. Oh, yes, um, you in the box. <laughs> uh, it is an instrument of scri a piccolo of scribing 
uh, where did I put it in my, there we go. Uh, this musical instrument has three charges, and while you are playing it, you can use an action to expend a charge from the instrument and write a magical message in a non-magical object or surface that you can see within 30 feet. Uh, the message can be up to six words. Unless you're a bard, then you can add seven more. I'm not sure if it's worth an attunement slot, but um, there it is. Uh, Showery, um, as they are admiring the instruments, you turn your attention back towards the room. Okay. And start walking around. Uh -huh. And as you step, you feel a slight pressure of a loosened board. And it's not I even will... that it's squeaking, it's more like... It's just loose? There's a cubby hole. Okay. Uh, I'll grab my carpenter's tools and take one of the claw hammers and kind of... You go to do that and it just lifts. It's like the like this whole thing was meant to be... Okay. What's inside? Look, look, look. Uh, an assortment of letters. <gasps> that you cannot read because they are very coded. More code. I'm going to take out the notebook, put them inside the first, like, inside the cover so they're all together, and put them back in my... Um, a couple of them, not many, but a couple of them are marked with what looks like a spider. Mm, okay. Um, Everything all right, dear? Approximately how many letters, just for inventory? Grand total, I'll say there's about 20 letters, and only two of them okay. have the... All right. And 20... a couple of them ha are not coded. Oh, okay. But it looks like they're more like stolen mail. Okay. Some mail fraud occurring. <laughs> um, Lovely. With seals from members of the council. Oh. Uh, About three of them have the seals from the council. Oh, okay. Encoded or removed from the council. Um, I, I guess I'll go ahead and read. Read at least one of them. What kind of mail are were they intercepting? We will come to that because we've left the two in the basement for quite a while. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we I only know. have about 15 minutes left of play, so we'll come to that next game. That's fine, yeah. All right. <sighs> Back to the basement. Gerald and Galen, thank you for your patience. As you have just stepped through the wall and revealed <laughs> what looks to be an experimental chamber of some sort. <laughs> Yes, it thank you. Because like... nothing ever goes wrong in here. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ever goes wrong in the experimental chamber next to the Albear. It looks like. Well, make perception checks as you look around. Act. Act. Natural 20 for a total of 21. Alright. 20, 22. Natural 20 is always going to win, just because that's a natural 20. Um, but you both are able to see there's a whole bunch of different alchemist setups. Um, this is probably where the Golem Workshop was that made all the big boys. And some darker magic setups as well. It looks like there's a long table with a bunch of different books. And as you're flipping through them, Galen, it looks almost like anatomy charts. Oh, no. 
No. <laughs> well, it's an anatomy chart. I don't know. This, this, is, this, could, be, this could be health class. You don't know. Um, We're in a secret lab. <laughs> I'm sorry. You think this is like We're in a secret health lab economics? In a, We're in a secret lab. <laughs> in a there. dodgy basement with a prison and an owlbear. And in the very center of that table sits a book pedestal that is empty. There was something that was specifically stored here that is not there. I'm gonna make a I'm, I'm gonna make like an intelligence check to, you know, alchemy, golems, anatomy books, giant table. What's this a fucking necromancer's tower? Roll. Yeah, make your roll first. <laughs> intelligence check. <laughs> Would I get advantage because you know this is like wizardy shit? Sure, I'll give you that. The writing's on the wall Oops. here. <laughs> uh, 24 total. That was a natural this is 19. definitely giving you necromancy feels. But Step of an ancient level, because as you're reading through that book, mm. this is a... The, it's written in Orin, the language of bird folk. Mm -hmm. but not not a, a rendition you can understand it's like, like see, it's almost like a predecessor right kind of skimming through and Joe you do see getting a skimmer through this book and for the most part when getting skims through his book he has a general knowledge of like general like look of understanding through most but here he's just like, what? It's like old English, like real old English. But then, Some like after seeing familiar, but for the most part, it's illegible. But for the uh... like also giving a vibe of the room and then just looking through what like the oh, there's anatomy. some obvious charts. Like there are some very yeah. detailed sketches. Like, he literally just closes the book. Oh, no. I hate when you say that. Do you want me to, do you want me to give it to you, like, straight to the point? Preferably. This was a necromancer's tower. Oh, goody. Fantastic. <clears throat> Father always did know the best real estate. He literally looks over at the very obviously missing book, at the busy space where a book should go. And that is a very missing book. The fact that it's missing is worrying. However, um, is my Decept Magic still up? As um, It's not up for 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, it would be up for 10 minutes. Looks looking straight at the pedestal. Whatever was there has been gone for a while. There is no trace. Uh, I would like to roll investigation to see if this lab was used any at any point recently. Roll like, is it just? I want to see if it is it dusty. Is it something someone's been working in here? Investigation 19. 19? It yeah. doesn't look like it's been actively like used. It's been raided. It's been explored. It looks like mm -hmm. someone's been looking around to see what they can... Specifically around the golem areas. You see there's, mm -hmm. there's more nitpicking over there. Well... From what I can tell, he didn't raise any of us to be a necromancer. That I can tell. Or um, this, they've looked through here, they've checked the stores, the golems they've fucked about with. 
probably were trying to get them going before they had to resort to getting an owlbear. Because then you don't have to feed those. I'm going to inspect the pedestal to see if there's any hidden compartments. Go ahead. In investigation? Uh, yes. Make an investigation check. 22 total. 22 total. Uh, there does not seem to be any like hidden contraptions or anything like that. Um, roll a perception check with advantage for me. Just because you were like real close studying this fucking thing. Another fucking natural 20 fucking hell. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Huzzah advantage. Yes. Where is what I was like for? two twenty. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite literally, it was like five. Fuck. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> I will not question you again. Um, <laughs> Thank you, my baby. And very, very faintly, and it's almost like you have to hit it at a certain light. You can see etched into the very center of it. It looks like a crow skull. Yep. Um, emblazoned on it. Does that ring any bells? Make an intelligence check. Make a history check, actually. I was going to say. Does that ring any bells for me? Uh, oh, you haven't seen it. It would have to be pointed out. Oh. Okay. Uh, what do you point it out? Hold on. Maybe after he does his check. Yeah, um, he wouldn't put it out. He needs. He doesn't to think about point, it first. Yeah, he doesn't point things out unless he knows something about it. Uh, history. Come on, come on, come on. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. So normally a corvum skull, a crow skull, wouldn't give off any vibes, but as you're looking at it, you notice that there's a particular look of like, like Celtic designing across it. Mm-hmm. And you think, you know, like, where have I heard of something like this? Where have I heard of something like this? Oh, shit. There's a book that has only ever been a myth. No one's ever actually believed it was real. That's called the Necronomicon X Corvus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know where this is going. I a wish I was of... kidding, but it's actually in. And it's <laughs> called the Necronomicon X Corvus. Well, of course, there's no editions of the Necronomicon. It is a legendary but... tome that was penned by a mad Corvon necromancer. We found his the book is one of a kind and contains terrible necromantic secrets. Kind of looking it over immediately, he's just like, This necromancer <laughs> lived long, long ago and gained quite an infamous reputation. And his name was Lathrus of the Night's Call. Looks straight to Gerald and just looks at him. I don't think you've heard Gerald's um, uh, Galen swear before, but he literally goes, "Fuck." Oh, it's a new one. I'm proud of you. No, I'm worried. <laughs> you don't do that. What the uh, fuck did you find? You were staring at the. What could you find on the pedestal that would bring a fuck from your mouth? There was a um, old Corvum necromancer that, that was legend, and he had a book that bared that symbol. Well, that's not friendly. Wait, 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 wait until I tell you the name of the book. Yeah, he just looked at the pedestal. <laughs> 
That's not a friendly symbol. Go on. <laughs> it is known as the Necronomicon X Corvus. Well, that seems remarkably on brand. And very bad. I, 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 I want to leave. Uh, yes, mainly because it's not there. And that's where we'll pick it up next time. Oh! oh. <laughs> Time. <laughs> ah. I want to thank you all for joining. I'm really, really happy <laughs> that you decided to catch Detect Magic. Because <laughs> you almost walked away without finding the room. <laughs> that would have been, been my fault. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, was just like, wait. One last hit, one last okay. ditch. Was oh, it because I said, wall. oh, natural 20? And then they were like, it was a, just a dirty 20. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, mm. Yeah, I <laughs> know. Yeah, oh, he rolled a natural 20. About, uh, the, I rolled a dirty 20 on my, mm -hmm. on my uh, entering. Uh, uh, but I was just like, no, nah, no, nah, like, that uh, that owlbear was not just there for any kind. That fucker was guarding something. But turns out we just found a Corvum Lich's lair. Yay! I never said it was a Lich. Just an ancient necromancer. Um, you didn't say it wasn't a Lich. So a Lich. I did not say it wasn't a Lich. You're right. <laughs> if we find a Jew, if we find it's a Jew, either a Lich or a witch or a bitch, and either way, it's if not we find. Be uh, Sarah, if we find a golden jewel encrusted skull, I am tearing this fucking tower down. <laughs> Just burying it on top of it. Nope, you stay there. Everything goes. If we find a green eye or a green hand, I'm gone. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've seen this happen. Uh -uh. I've seen this movie before. Uh, all right. Well, I thank you all for joining me. I hope you had fun. Yeah. Uh, thank yeah. you for anyone yeah. who decided yeah. to watch. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And even if you're just watching on YouTube later, we're happy to have you. Uh, I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, we will see you on one of our many other streams. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.